Alright guys, what's up? Uh, today we're going to be doing a exterior renewer by first place finish. I'm going to try it out on a 2005 Mustang. Uh, it's black. Uh, this car has suffered some uh, sun damage, uh, UV damage, whichever way you want to call it. Uh, particularly on the front bumper, uh, some on the hood. Um, it's kept under a carport, but where the sun shines in uh, during certain parts of the day. You know, uh, over the years, it's, uh, it's taken its toll on the uh, certain components uh, of the paint. So we're going to try this. Uh, I've heard good things about it. And uh, this is actually their exterior renewer in this bottle here. And they make a lot of other products as well um, for interior and exterior uh, surfaces of the car. Uh, this is manufactured by Metro Tech Chemicals out of Charlotte, North Carolina. So um, that's here in uh, my home state. But anyway, um, you stay tuned for the uh, time lapse video that we're going to do, and you can see the results afterwards at uh, what this product does to uh, neglected paint. take a little bit of time after I got through putting the uh, first place finish on uh, the 2005 Mustang 
and uh, just give my thoughts of what I thought about it. Um, you'll be able to see from the pictures the difference in the before and after shots, and of course the time lapse. You you know you can see me going around and you know um, applying this to the car. I will say this: uh, I was really impressed with it. Um, it really did make a big difference in the paint. Uh, this car has not been waxed in years, and even though it was kept under a shelter, you know, it still has some exposure to the elements, primarily, you know, the sun, the UV damage that I spoke of earlier uh, that occurred on the front bumper. The front bumper was the worst uh, of it all. It was a spot kind of right in the center uh, in front of the grill, uh, and you'll see that in the pictures um, of where that was, and it was so... Basically, it had lost its the shine to it. It, it. it went from being gloss black to a matte black in that one area. And then, of course, the hood, you know, was not as bad, but it had a little bit of dulling to it. And uh, the front bumper, uh, I applied five coats of this first place finish to it. And, I mean, after the very first coat of putting it on and then buffing it off, I noticed a huge difference in it, but I kept on doing more coats, and by the fourth, the fifth coat, definitely by the fifth, uh, it was all gone. I mean, that all of that, you know, that discoloration and the dullness that had been caused by the UV damage in that paint had totally been eliminated by this product, and uh, I just was really impressed by that. I mean, it's it's hard to most of the time when you look at damage like that on paint you figure you're going to have to a car you know is going to have to go back to a body shop and have either somebody's going to have to you know wet sand it buff it or they're going to have to have it repainted um you know things like that that are really expensive and um like i said you know this product here is easy to use it buffs off really easy uh it's not uh it's light wax, but it's it's not, then again, it's not. You know, like I said, it's an exterior renewer, and it's a paint protectant is what it is. It protects against UV damage, uh, you know, bird droppings, tree sap, um, industrial fallout, you know, acid rain, uh, you name it, even against scratches and, and things like that, uh, and as well as adding a shine like wax does. And so I'm told it lasts anywhere from three to five years. So after you put an application of this on a vehicle, it's not like that you have to do it yearly or multiple times a year. It's, you know, it, it lasts a long time, especially if you do it the right way. And, and it's just like wax in the car. So it's not really any you know, rocket science to it. And um, all you got to do with it is shake it up really well you know, before you start using it, just like you do with anything that's liquid. It control, uh, it has uh, petroleum distillates in it. So you need to shake it up real good and make sure it's mixed up. And once you do that, you either take like an applicator sponge or either a microfiber towel, and you put a, you know, a quarter silver, you know, a quarter to silver dollar sized amount on your rag or sponge and you spread it, you know, working one section at a time on the paint. And once you do that, you spread it out, you let it dry to a light haze, and then you go come behind it with a microfiber towel and buff it off. And like I said, it buffs off really easy. Um, it's not a lot of hard wiping, you know, like some waxes are, it, it comes off easy. And the results, like I said, even after one coat, of this are very much noticeable at how much it will help neglected paint on uh, any vehicle um, but yeah just wanted to get you know take time you know to give my thoughts on it and and another thing that this stuff does too is like when you have you know tree sap bird droppings dirt uh, bugs that stick to the front of the car I mean anything like that that tends to want to bond to the paint normally. Well, this stuff right here, when you go and you wash it the next time, what it's going to do is make that stuff very easy to come off of the paint. 
and it doesn't it it doesn't allow it to actually bond to it so it makes it a lot easier when you go and wash the vehicle to clean it the next time because you don't have all that stuff and you're sitting there having to scrub and, and try and get all those contaminants off of your paint so um, and uh, just you know uh, word of caution uh, with this uh, you want to stay away from rubber and plastic uh, things on the car like your weather stripping around your doors and windows anything that's like plastic or urethane on the car rubber like I said if this comes in contact with it it will stain it white so you want to try and stay away from those areas as much as possible because if you do get it on there it will stain it white um, and uh, you don't want to be in direct sunlight when you apply it and the paint needs to be cool to the touch as well so those are two other things that you want to keep in mind uh, when you go to apply it as uh, you, you don't have it in the sun and as you know the paint is not hot and of course naturally you need to wash the car good before and remove all the dirt and uh, things like that but like I said you know it's supposed to last uh, so I'm told three to five years so you know once you put it on there you're going to have a good amount of time before you have to worry about doing it again and in between that you're you know you can wax the car as you normally would uh, and um, so yeah uh, I would highly recommend this product and uh, if you're looking to try and check it out see how you can get your very own uh, kit or you know any of the products from first place finish uh, we'll put a link in the description. It's uh, firstplacefinish.com. Like I said, they're out of uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, they also have a 800 number um, that we can post in the description as well. But uh, like I said, I'd highly recommend it. And um, if you guys like this video, go on and give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, we really appreciate the support. And uh, stay tuned for the next video. We'll see you then. Thanks for watching.